guys my name is yogesh sharma and today i am going to demonstrate that how we can use the jquery no conflict method in jquery okay so for the simplicity i just taken a simple button okay and uh, let me set the but id of button like btn okay and the value is click me okay so i want that uh, how the this particular click button or you know it's a just it's just a simple button will will prompt in a simple window in alert message box so to perform this task we can use a dollar and the id of dollar i can set by using the id selector btn dot click and this click function i can write a callback function will will prompt alert hello button is clicked very simple example i am just going to take here okay so we have to write this script code at the bottom of page it's a very big reason because uh, i will i will tell you that what is the reason i am writing it here uh, so let me remove from here just run it view in browser so guys when i run this then i have a button and i if i click on this click me then you can see that hello button is clicked a very simple example but the thing is that i set this code at the bottom of the page why i didn't mention this code at the head or oh, okay so first of all let me tell you that if you are working jquery if you are using jquery in php you know that to declare a variable in php we have to use the dollar sign so it make create a confusion this make create a confusion between uh, for the developer that uh, which notation is used for the php variable or the jquery variable okay so to prevent from this kind of uh, situation we can use our own some notations like uh, my name is yogesh Okay, I have to use the jQuery dot no conflict method. It's a predefined method. If I use this method, it means that your variable work like a notation, jQuery notation. Here now you can use Yogesh dollar in place of dollar sign. If you run this, so everywhere you can use Yogesh. Okay, so if you run or uh, you know refresh it. and click on the click me then you will get the result same result you can get it okay so this is a very simple example of no conflict so let me show you that why i read it or write it at the bottom of the page it's a very big reason if i cut it and if i write it into head tag and again execute refresh it and click me then you can see that message is not prompted why because the thing is that you written a code at the head tag we know that browser read data or the browser read html from top to bottom but in this condition you have written this code at the top and your button is rendering from the below of the code okay so at this time when you write this code this time this button is not mentioned on the dom tree so what is the another way or alternative way to prevent such kind of situation because we knows that uh, to write the you know script code we usually write uh, at the head tag so why i can't do this so jquery have a beauty to prevent such kind of situation you have to use the ready function and in ready we are also calling the callback function over here cut this curly braces over here and paste it the purpose to ready function is that when your dom tree or your complete document has been uploaded on the browser then this button click function should be registered okay so again execute this then see that what is the result click me then you can get the result okay so i explain what is the role of uh, jquery no conflict and what is the purpose to use document dot ready function so i am going to upload 
various videos based on jQuery, JSON, AJAX, Angular JS. So please subscribe my channel, and if you like this uh, video, so please like my video from at the bottom. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Thank.